We are in the Pitt Theatre, which is at the Barbican in London, setting up for a project called Assemblance. It's part of the Digital Revolution exhibition, which is going to be about three months this summer. I'm Dot Nitipak Lamsey. I'm a designer and partner at Umbrellium. I'm Usman Huck. I'm founding partner of Umbrellium. The Barbican approached us to talk about doing a project. The beginning of, of an idea here was to look at what might we do with light. We're interested to look at how people can kind of give form to structures made out of this light through their gestures and movements. So when they walk into the space, they'll see almost like a kind of forest of light beams, curtains of light that have been created by previous visitors. And they'll respond to them and they'll be able to create new ones to add to that. I suppose that it's experimental in the sense that we, uh, we use the process of iterative experimentation to figure out what it is that we're doing. We're definitely very process driven. We use the process of the project to kind of figure out what the idea is. We were experimenting a lot. Halfway through, we kind of lost. I mean, we, we were having fun playing with this, we're building, and we feel like this is great, this is cool, but what is it for? What's the purpose? What's the purpose of this thing? We have to step back sometimes to just look down. Okay, we're doing this for this. A lot, lot of this process is like a very trial and error. Yes, like we try and no, that's not good. This one is good, we, we know that there's something in it, which I mean, we wouldn't feel it otherwise if we didn't actually try it that way. Yeah, and actually the errors are sometimes the things yeah. that lead us down a, a very new path. Yeah. It's kind of only in the last two or three weeks that we've actually figured out what the idea really is. What we realized was that the thing that really intrigued us, how do you actually build an environment in which lots of people can collaborate to make something. It's almost modeling the outside world where sometimes we have to suspend our distrust of others. You're building these delicate light structures which can be wiped out by somebody just walking through them. You know, sometimes you're collaborating to make your structures stick together or build off of each other or bounce off each other. But it sort of requires a kind of a care on the part of the visitor for each other's creations. I think we, we, we like a challenge, basically. So it's not that we prefer one context over the other. We definitely enjoyed this because it's a, different, it's a different challenge. It's not like it's incredibly easy just because you're indoors rather than outdoors. It just throws up very different opportunities. Do you have a preference? Uh, the easier one. <laughs> There's no rain indoors, which is kind of nice.